हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द इंट्रैक्शन ऑफ रेडिएशन विद मैटर दिस इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड लेट स्टार्ट सो दिस इंट्रैक्शन ऑफ रेडिएशन विद मैटर इज स्टडीड बाई एलवर्ट आइंस्टाइन विद इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ हिज स्टडी ही प्रपोज दैट देर आर थ्री पॉसिबल मैकेनिज्म और थ्री पॉसिबल फिनमिनस Uh, first one is stimulated absorption, second one is spontaneous emission, and third one is stimulated emission. Let's talk about stimulated absorption first. Here uh, we suppose that the radiations of frequency are incident on matter having energy with the ground energy level E1 and excited energy level E2. Here we have mentioned E1 and E2. Uh, the incident photon having energy is equal to h nu is absorbed so here we have two uh, states one before absorption second one is the after absorption electrons are always present in ground state because this is always a stable state whenever photon is coming will uh, this photon is absorbed by the electrons present in ground state so and after uh, before ab absorption and after absorption the electron will jump into the ground excited state which is represented with energy level e2 and uh, number of atoms present in that state is n2 and number of atoms present in ground state is n1 the energy difference between these two is uh, represented with del e which is e2 minus e1 and this equals to uh, the incident uh, energy that is h2 so here uh, Uh, this process is called a uh, stimulated absorption or induced absorption because uh, uh, this is something that we are inducing so that's why we call this process as a induced absorption or a simple absorption right and uh, an atom can only and the electron can only stay at this state uh, for uh, just 10 to the power minus 8 second and uh, Uh, after that it will jump again uh, it will jump back to the ground state again and uh, uh, these are two uh, mechanism through which emission process can take place first one is the spontaneous emission and second one is the stimulated emission so uh, before uh, uh, starting with the emission process uh, let's find out the probability of occurrence of uh, stimulated absorption so uh, that is from state 1 to state 2 Uh, which is proportional to the energy density of incident radiations uh, represented with this uh, rho nu and uh, number of atoms present in state 1 that is in the ground state this is state 1 and this is state 2 so the words have a number are present in uh, state 1 the probability will depend upon the number of atom present in state one so we are representing the probability or rate of occurrence of this type of absorption is always proportional to the energy density and the number of atom present in ground state and uh, then uh, we can uh, just going to take this proportionality constant v12 and uh, uh, this v12 is known as einstein coefficients for stimulated absorption right this is about the stimulated absorption and uh, let's talk about the emissions and first kind of emission that is possible uh, during uh, this type of interaction is a spontaneous emission so the excited atom ordinarily does not continue in the higher energy state for longer interval of time so it is of its own gives out a photon of energy h nu which is also a energy difference e2 minus e2 and return to the ground state this process does not require any stimulus or any external energy uh, because this is a spontaneous process a natural process or once a photon is absorbed by electron Uh, it will move to the excited state and the excited state is always unstable state so electron cannot stay at this state for longer interval of time the maximum time uh, or the maximum lifetime of electron at this excited state is 10 to the power minus 8 second right so after uh, spending this uh, much time at uh, the excited state electron will jump back to the ground state and again we are talking this process does not require any kind of stimulus from outside so this is a very uh, natural process 
and uh, that's why we are uh, representing this with the spontaneous emission so uh, the probability in this case that is the rate of occurrence of uh, stim uh, spontaneous emission will only depend upon the number of atoms present in this uh, exciter state not and uh, it will not uh, depend upon the energy density because this is a natural process once electron or once a photon is absorbed it will uh, automatically jump back to the ground state so the probability we are representing this that is p21 or r21 why we are writing this uh, th this uh, uh, p21 so there is a transition from state 2 to state 1 that's why we are writing this uh, p21 and in case of uh, our stimulated absorption we we have uh, this p12 that is that there is a transition from state 1 to state 2 uh, also uh, we are uh, writing here that probability of uh, this is proportional to only number of atom present in excited state and we are uh, uh, we are having this proportionality constant is equal to a to 1 which is the Einstein coefficients for spontaneous emission right so this a to 1 is the proportionality constant and it is representing the Einstein coefficients of spontaneous emission now uh, the third kind of process is uh, the stimulated emission and this is very very important uh, because uh, for the laser action this condition will require that is the stimulated emission will require so again Einstein was the first who point out that uh, uh, their probability of induced emission and in which the incident photon of energy H nu causes a transition from upper state to the lower state so this is again a stimulated process this is again a induced process as we have discussed the lifetime of the state is 10 to the power minus 8 second uh, before spanning or by any manner if we are able to uh, make a transition of this electron from state 2 to state 1 uh, before spanning 10 to the power minus 8 second we will call that process as a stimulated emission uh, uh, like, uh, right now we are taking that uh, our electron is already in this state in the excited state and we are incidenting a photon on uh, this type of uh, atom whose electrons are present in excited state then this photon will be uh, will responsible for the transition of this electron to the ground state to the ground state likewise this one okay and during this uh, process there 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 are emission there is emission of uh, uh, two uh, photons okay so the incident photon stimulates the transition to the lower state and produces a second photon of same energy and this process sets the state of, of our stimulated emission of multiple photon and this is the precondition for light amplification we got two photon one photon during the transition of uh, state to state one and the second photon is due to which it will make a transition from state two to state one so in this case again the probability of occurrence or the rate of stimulated emission is again depend upon two factor one is the energy density because you are applying photon that's why the this uh, stimulated emission is possible and the another thing it will uh, depend is your number of atoms present in or number of electrons present in state two and we are removing this proportionality constant with b to one so here v21 is what v21 is the einstein coefficients for stimulated emission so this is about the interaction of radiation with matter and uh, during this interaction there are these three possible phenomena are uh, going to happen and uh, uh, these are stimulated absorption spontaneous emission stimulated emission these are the this is the natural uh, process once the uh, photon uh, is absorbed it should be released by the electron because uh, that state is unstable state so this is all about uh, the interaction of radiation matter thank you so much